open way, the way that I just did. And then I'm going to show you guys a shortcut afterwards. So in this problem, now we have a combination of numbers and we have a combination of variables. Well, what's nice about the rules of radicals is we can do them all separately, right? I can do the rat root of one and the root of another, right? You can separate the x and the y's. So I can just separate this as the cube root of 24 and the cube root of x to the 6, right? Sometimes that just makes it easier to have your numbers and your variables separated. You don't have to do it this way, but I think when you're first learning, sometimes it's just better to separate your numbers and your variables. You don't have to do this. So the cube root of 24, is 24 a cube number? No. No, but is there a cube number that divides into 24? Yes. 8, right? So I could break this up into cube root of 8. I could break this up again if I wanted to, or I could just write that as 3. And then is x to the 6, that's not the same as that one, right? Correct. However, I can write this as, would I want to use x to the 4th times x squared again? No. No, I'd want to use because by the rules of exponents, that equals x to the sixth, right? Because you add the powers. Is everybody OK with how I have rewritten this problem? Um, remember, cube root of 8 is equal to the cube root of 2 cubed, which is equal to 2. I can't take the cube root of 3 because that's raised to the first power, right? The powers have to be exactly the same. Not the index and the rep and the base. It has to be both the powers. So this remains the cube root of 3 times the cube root of x cubed is x. x and the cube root of x cubed is x. x. So it would be x times x. So my final answer is 2x squared times the cube root of 3. Cool. No? Questions? No. Nope. The only one that like, threw me off was the second one. Huh? Why is it two? What two? 2x. Oh. The cube root of 8. I can rewrite 8 as 2 cubed. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. As long as I wrote 2 raised to the third power, since the index and the power are equal, I, I can apply the identity, right? x cubed and x cubed give you x to the 6, because x cubed times x cubed is x to the 3 plus 3, which is 6. And I can take them separately, right? Because I could, do the pr I could do the cube root of x cubed times the cube root of x cubed. And that gives me x times x, which is x squared. OK? Um, the last thing I want to show you guys is just a 